off screen. And we'll slowly transition from round six losers to grand finals from here. So from here on out, we should have non-stop matches on screen with very little breaks between. So, game one going to smash right away. Uh, not surprising. <laughs> Actually, it is surprising. Really? I mean, wins is on smash. Well, I mean, if wins kind of doesn't like go afraid of, of uh, incendiary, he probably wouldn't care. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Maybe he likes to smash this stage against Mario. Nice. I like that power shield to uh, follow up. Oh, that was very unsafe. Very unsafe. Not aware of the bomb's uh, life span. I think bombs last four seconds. Uh, very wonderful, like maybe five or six. Ooh, he, he's just he's falling into all the sword moves. <laughs> just to me, just to get a sword out and he just walks right into it. So oh, nice. Alright. So Wind's gonna play very keep the heavy keyboard game. But, uh, while Mario struggles to like catch up to him, because Mario has to go in. Fireballs just won't don't hold a candle to bomb. So that's gonna be the name of the game here. How long can how, how long can win this underway until uh, Incendiary picks something does something really greedy? I like that the walk. Oh, he goes for another walk. He goes for the full jab too, which is really dangerous because jab three has a lot of uh, uh, cooldown. Could have very easily. Oh, oh, he definitely wanted it. He got too hypey, dude. I can I, I can respect that because I do the same thing. He got too hypey. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because your your finger your fingers on the trigger already. So when if you do something like that, you kind of squeeze your controller. Like your hand squeezes a little bit hard, and it, just like that little squeeze will set you off. It's an off an air dodge. It happens to me a lot. It's really it's really sucky when it happens. Oh. Interesting. Oh. There's a great equalizer. <laughs> that 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 feel when you DI the the, the, the sweet spot forward smash and die at like 100 up tilt. Oh yeah, he he waits for it, but I feel like he should have gone taken the initiative there and gone after him. But he still has a lead, albeit by like seven. The Zairs. Zairs are there to grab. The Zyro combo, the TGM is the dash tech to forward smash, too. Is this the skull that TJ gave him? The skull. <laughs> Ooh, took some heavy damage with it. See, like, he has fireballs, but he'll never be able to make to make approach because he makes projectiles just so much better than fireball. They do more damage, too, so it's like... If you ask Mario, what can he do about that, you know? And then he took too long to build a bomb. Oh, God. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's why I hear it, it makes me laugh. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> this is interesting because they like for a second, for about two, three seconds there, they were both just like kind of like flailing around. Like, I feel like those no, they, they were moving around with no intention to like set up anything. They're just moving. That was bad at first. That was nice though because if we get at that point, um. I, it seemed to probably thought he was going to fall the forward air, so you air dodged, but he did Zare instead. And because he missed the Zare, he gets a free forward smash because there's no landing lag. So like, that was really smart of, of uh, that was really smart of the wins, actually. Because the, um, Incendiary, in that situation, what he wanted, to, what he should have done, was allow the Zare to hit him, because there's no setup out of that. Nice down smash, too. Or down, the back hit of down smash. He goes for the rig. Very risky nair right there. They could have easily sent him down. It's like the uh, wind's playing the safe, which is good. He's at a percent where he doesn't need a really risky. He just can throw bombs, boomerangs, and arrows, and just choke out Incendiary until Incendiary overcommits. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, I thought that was gonna be a force smash. Oh, no. Yeah, what I'm seeing right, what I'm seeing right now is that Incendiary has it's not it doesn't have a good map awareness. Yeah, yeah, man. It's map. We're, we're playing on a map, man. He, uh, yeah, no, he's he doesn't he doesn't have enough map awareness. He's like, he doesn't realize that the boomerang's coming back or that the bomb's over there or whatever. He, he's he's just kind of going for things as if he's fighting someone that doesn't have projectiles. So like, he needs to be he needs to focus more on where the projectiles are and how much time he has left before they come back at him. Because he could have gotten the forward throw on on wins and put him at a really bad spot. Also, Flood just isn't gonna work in this matchup. <laughs> Zare just doesn't care. That should be it. Question mark? No. Wow, that's incredible. That didn't kill. Feels bad, dude. Go fast. Go fast. Bomb. Problem is, yeah, that's it. 
Incendiary just doesn't understand how the matchup works. Like, it just, it's just very clear watching this one game that he has no idea how to play. It's unfortunate. He's just, he's just being too greedy when he gets the advantage. And then when he's not at the advantage, he's just not realizing where the bombs and boomerangs are when he grabs him or gets a quick tilt out of him. He needs to play more aggressive, but at the same time, she needs to wait. Like, his, when, when wins. When Wins has that, when he's at a disadvantage, Wins makes a lot of mistakes when he's at the, when he, uh, when he's under pressure, and he needs to capitalize on that. The thing is, he's just being so care, he's not, he's being careless, basically. Like if there, he he did he did good at waiting, he did good at waiting, but then he he went for an up tilt again instead of just grabbing him behind. Nice down throw to the B. In any case, though, Zendiri definitely has made some adjustments. He's playing way better. And then he goes for the face spike, really smart. Takes him out. Only takes 4 damage a whole sequence. Very, very good. Very nice. I like the adjustments already. Like, he's playing a lot more He's playing a lot more careful. Uh, Whiteout did give him some... Not, not advice, he didn't give him advice, per se, but he just told him to slow down the, the gameplay. And honestly, that's what he needs to do right now. Play a little more aggressive, but still play slow. Nice. And he's going for more grabs too, which I like. What I'm interested in, what I'm kind of curious about though, is that he's not when he lands the up tilts. When he lands, when he lands the up tilts, he's not committing to like up airs, which are guaranteed out of the up tilt. He's like just staying on the, rooted on the ground, which is fine too because you're you're safe, you're absolutely safe. But like you're not getting, you're not optimizing your damage. You're just being, kind of cheating yourself out of free damage. Oh wow, that's too far. And see, like there, he didn't realize where the bomb was. And he got hit with a bomb free. Let's okay. see. It throws a bomb back at him though. That was very interesting. Nice dash tag. Forces the bomb. Forces the bomb out of wind hand. Oh, jab. Yeah, but I mean it's fine. Just grab there. Throws him too early that time. So now the boomerang gets him anyway. Nice escape. Over there. Okay, whenever whenever wins isn't throwing, yeah, he's trying to do that cheese with the Zare to arrow jab lock does, man. He does it every single time. Yeah. Okay, it's safe. Even if the Zare doesn't land, he's in safe but if they back off. So I mean, fine. That score there should be so good. Oh wow, that's fresh. That's fresh, yeah. Feels bad, man. But uh, no, like in I don't know. He's still he's playing way better than game one. Yeah, damn, I was just gonna up you, but it's not gonna be I guess it's do after the first up tilt, anyways. I feel like it might be true. It looks like it was a little true there. Well, he finally jumps, but then he doesn't do anything. He's, he's giving Wins a lot of credit on the hit confirms. Like, he's expecting him to do, follow up with a hitbox or something. But he's not. He's just rolling away. I can't hit. It's like a, the, the thing with the thematic. The, basically, the theme of this match is just that it's in the area, he's just kind of like not punishing him as hard as he can be. Having said that though, he still has a lead, so I guess it's not a big problem. But it's still very risky because Toon Legal Rage is very scary. Nice yeah. power shield, but he rolls right into the smash anyway. Yeah. Ooh, nice roll. Oh, nice. He finally does an up air. He finally did up air. I'm so happy. Yeah. See, that's his first up air this whole set. He did really? Yeah. He hasn't been doing up airs. He's been very, very, like, spooky about it. Nice, nice fireball. Oh, that was sick. He didn't do a lot of damage, but that was really nice. I like that. Both of them are, actually. Bomb forward will kill Mario by the ledge. Back throw kill. Well, not won't kill Mario, but it'll put him in a really bad spot. Yeah. Bump forward will kill. Up there will kill. Yeah, he went for, he went for it. Nice up B, but the slant kind of gives that wins that. Yeah. The slant gives wins to them out, so it's unfortunate, but it's alright. This is actually really scary, because they're both so early to quick close to kill. And even if one of them kills the other one, like if wins kills, if wins kills uh, Incendiary, then he's, he's still a kill percent. 
if, 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 if this keeps... Oh, there you go. Back throw. Bomb though? Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's see. Here's the thing. Last, the last uh, stop, Cinder had a, a better lead and Wind still caught up. So this is still not not over by a long shot. He needs he needs to land more hits and then he shows himself. Yeah, there it is. He he got too greedy. Like he's getting too greedy for his follow ups. But like at the same time, Wind wasn't even over there. So I don't understand why he went away. Whatever. He still he still has a forty percent lead. Very heavy. And it's it's only growing from here. It's doing a really good job of just playing the neutral right now. Mario Mario hit with a lot of safe options for neutral. Very quick options. He got the bomb. That was definitely not intentional. Oh, he checked back into the boomerang. Oh, and then fireballs around down air. He, he definitely, but I'm pretty sure he didn't expect the down air. So that's just like an unfortunate, but it's like unlucky. Now we're in a dangerous spot though because it, there's still two minutes on the clock, so it, just, it wins to still play his game if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't think he can time. No, I'm, I'm not saying like the timeout, I'm just saying he can still play his game oh, where he yeah. just runs away and throws stuff. Like that, he can still very well play that. And it, it, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't think Incendiary has the, the patience to be able to stay back for two minutes. So this, this is actually still very scary. Very, very winnable matchup for wins right now, so. Very scary. Up smash. That's the first up smash we've seen on set too. Yeah, that was the first up smash. Too. I think up smash is like three, I think, maybe two. But like, nice grab. Four throws to off level. Nice kick to the bomb. Goes from back air. Wins always that. Yeah. Uh. Really close. Well. Incendiary. Oh, unfortunate. <coughs> Nice case, bomb forward will kill him, yeah. Bad DI. Yeah, bad DI. Bad DI. Yeah. Unfortunate, wins will take uh, two, the tip set 2-0. He'll be fighting, I'm not sure who plays next, but he'll be playing someone else right now. He was one more, guys. Too bad twice and killed himself. Well, he just, he wasn't playing Mario optimally. Yeah. 